Hello everyone, I'm Carlos from EmotionalWellnessConsultants.co.uk. I'm an emotional consultant, intimacy, relationships and sex coach in the United Kingdom. In this video, we will talk about self-image and how it affects us when it's distorted. Did you know your distorted self-image is the main reason you're unable to make the permanent changes you need and achieve your goals? Think about it for a minute. Dr. Maxwell Maltz in the 60s said that the discovery of our self-image is the most important discovery of our generation. It's the principle that each of us is controlled by the mental picture of ourselves. We develop it as we grow up. We build the idea of self-image, or better yet, self-perception. Perception is simply what we see, which in turn is not necessarily what things are. Perception shows us a minimal part of what something is, not the whole thing. You know, the reflection we see in the mirror? But we don't really see ourselves in the way we truly are. We see ourselves through our mind. If you want to know what your self-image is, just take a look at the different aspects of your life. Take a look at the results you are getting, your relationships, your body, your work, etc. All these things are the outer expression of our self-image. One of the recurring mistakes people make is to want to change things that are superficial or simply cosmetic. All unconsciously, of course. These things are not the problem. They are the symptom of the problem. People think the problem is something outside of themselves, when in reality, the problem is inside themselves. Most people are trapped in their past, and hence, the self-perception that is the product of that past, not allowing themselves to evolve into who they could and should be today. I kind of see it, but not completely. Okay, let's see if this makes it easier to understand. Let's say that you're going through life at 60%. Let's call 60% your self-perception. This is where you believe you belong. And this is where you unconsciously see yourself. Better than the middle, but not close to your full potential. Most people have goals and dreams. They believe that these goals and dreams will take them to 100%. But they can't reach or achieve them because they're stuck on 60%. And they won't move forward until they expand and abandon their self-perception, adopting a broader view of themselves. 60% is where they live, not where they want to be, but it, this has become their pattern, their safe zone. That's the amount of success, love, relationships, happiness they're allowing themselves to have. Let's say that due to adversities in life, it drops to 50%, and then they feel unhappy and uncomfortable. So it produces a drive that gets them back up where they should be because they know they don't belong to 50%. So they start doing things differently, and most fail or encounter resistance on their way up. So they give up, lower their standards, convincing themselves that perhaps that's where they don't really deserve the 60%. But at 55 or lower is where they should be. You know, the lower the expectations, the less disappointment. At this point, they start surrounding themselves with some people in the 50s and 40%, instead of people in the 90s and 100s. At some point in their lives, they have had enough and muster the courage to do whatever it takes to reach the 100% mark. Unfortunately for most, by now, life has already passed them by and time has run out. The lucky ones that still have it move forward and push through those that if they encounter adversity, they overcome it. Whatever wall in their path, they go around, all over it, under it, or through it. They won't stop at 60, 70, or 80% and beyond. But at some point, the great majority that has reached this point will encounter their old self saying, what are you doing here? You don't deserve this. Something bad is going to happen. Your place is at 60%, maybe 65, but no more but definitely nowhere near 100%. They realize that although good, they are outside their safe zone. 
So they turned their back on everything and everyone who wanted to elevate them to a higher percentage. So they tumble down to where their self-perception tells them they belong. They stop doing what brought them up. They start self-sabotaging, doing illogical, irrational, dumb things. I'm sure you've never done any of these things, but for sure you have seen others do it, right? So the choice is yours. You can continue doing what you're doing and exist through this pattern or change it. How do I change my self-perception? First, let's understand the problem. Understand that the strongest force in human personality is the need to remain consistent in how we perceive ourselves. This means that our self-perception controls our success and our failures, making an impact in every single part of our lives. So, to overcome this, you will need to be 100% committed and make some radical changes. Surround yourself with people that are living the way you want to live. Let the old self go. Allow yourself to learn from these people. Let them teach you. Keep in mind that your way of thinking and acting has brought you where you are. Therefore, if you keep doing the same things, you will get the same results. See yourself being like them. Give yourself permission to enjoy the journey and the pleasures that this new path brings you as well as learning from the lessons that adversity brings. Empty yourself of emotional burden. Accept compliments and guidance you are given. If you have people like that in your life, then cherish them. If they're no longer in your life, it's probably because you either pushed them away or ran away from the improvement. So, you pushed away or ran away from the opportunity to succeed. If you can, Find them and make the effort to get another chance. If you're committed to your growth and improvement, I am willing and able to guide you through and show you the path towards your 100% life. Thank you very much for watching this video. As always, I'm here. Down here is the, you know, the, the website thing and the email. Call me. Give a comment. Let us know what you think. If there's anything you want to know about human behavior, relationships, intimacy, and such, uh, leave a message, uh, subscribe, and oh, also click on the bell, you know the bell, so that you get notifications when I post a new video. Thank you very much. Take care of yourselves. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be happy. See you next time. Bye.